Hello friends, Doug Fink here. I just wanted to go through, I've added a couple of new functions to my PowerShell AI module. Uh, the PowerShell AI module interacts with uh, GPT, so if you're familiar with uh, ChatGPT, um, this is integrating PowerShell with those models uh, using the REST API. So if you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and also uh, drop down the subscribe and click the notification so you know when I put out more videos. So let's take a look at what, uh, what this does. Like I said, I've added the an AI function and I can pass in a piece of text that says list of planets only names as JSON and press enter. It talks to GPT, gets the names of the planets and that's a JSON format. So there's a couple of more things that this can do. Now I can ask that question again or use that prompt of listing the planets only with names and then I can pipe it back into AI and, and then ask it to convert to XML. So this is two trips to GPT. The first one gets the names of the planets as JSON format. It passes what you saw before the JSON format back to GPT that then converts that to XML. And that is actually valid XML. And as a final uh, example of this, I'm going to get a list as JSON, convert it to XML, and then convert it to PowerShell. So that's three trips to GPT. And uh, we should get a last piece which shows um, the XML of the planets, and then it's actually going to do the conversion using an accelerator. I didn't ask it to do that. Chat GPT or GPT came up with that. I'm going to copy this, paste it in another PowerShell window, and sure enough, that's valid XML, and I'm actually able to list it out. That's uh, pretty cool. Now, for the final demo, I'm going to change directories. Okay, in there I have a couple of uh, Markdown files. One, as you can see, called Help One and Two. And what you can do is I can actually um, Type git status into AI and then I can ask it to say create a detailed git message based on what that status you just saw. And here is chat GPT or GPT coming back and saying here's the summary that I can use as a, as a git commit message that it uh, added help one and two files to this particular branch uh, to provide additional documentation for AI. So this has some real interesting capabilities where you can pipe what you want into AI and then give your own prompt. As you see in this example, I'm piping tech, the text from git status and then I'm asking it to create a detailed git message. I could have asked it to do a lot of things like just list out all the files that are being added and list out all the files that have been modified. So there's links below in the description, how to install the module, where to find it on, on GitHub. Um, so go grab that and kick the tires. And if you have issues, please post them on the, the repo. And I also open up the discussion list. We're having some discussions about how people are using these uh, different integrations, as well as the different ways that uh, they're, they're talking to um, GPT. So catch you later. Thanks.